I think uh, if you grow up somewhere in your childhood, you always keep a sense of its smell, a sense of its uh, light that uh, stays with you all your life. This is why I'm here today. Lamia Juresh takes history out of books and makes it personal. Her art focuses on the 15-year civil war in her home country, Lebanon. Her videos and installations contain accounts of the conflict, as seen and told by the people who lived it. She says she wants to give a voice to those who have been ignored. And now, 16 years after the war, time is also a centerpiece of Jorej's work. She records it and examines its effects on us, our memories and landscapes. She says artists don't replace historians, but provide an alternative way to talk about our world. Jorej is also the author of two books and a co-founder of the non-profit Beirut Arts Center. That is where we met her. Something about Beirut which is incredible are the people, the energies that it has because everyone here has a lot of resilience, I mean, after you know, surviving but many wars and I think um, living in a city where, where, where most of the great projects are done by individuals uh, creates a civil society that is quite strong. On the other hand, I think it's a very tiring city. It's tiring because it's chaotic, nothing really functions. There are still electricity cuts, there, is still, there are still water shortage, uh, there, it's very noisy. My urge as an artist, uh, as a starting artist, was to express what happened, to try to represent or to try to uh, narrate what happened, the tragedy that, that happened. And I very quickly realized that it was impossible to um, approach history with the idea of being uh, exhaustive, with the idea of finding, of proposing one truth. So I started to approach more individual stories, subjective stories. And my, one of my first uh, project, uh, Objects of War, uh, was something that connected the personal stories to the uh, history of these wars by asking several persons, uh, many persons, to, to give me an object, one object, whether familiar or, 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 or strange, uh, um, a, a personal object that uh, could be the departure for a personal story on these wars. The neighborhood where we are now, adjacent to Beirut Art Center, is defined by the river is actually what defines the border of Beirut on the eastern side. And that river is mainly empty eight to nine months a, a year. It's dry. There were very poor settlements around the river. And so I'm interested in that history. I'm interested in also the imaginary uh, landscape that constitutes this river. For me, it's really about, uh, it's a suspended space because it's no longer a river but it's not really uh, used for anything. I filmed uh, a traveling shot inside the river and I'm using a voiceover that speaks of notion of landscape and displacement. It had been a long time that something was broken, that I was separated from what was dearest to me. 
how can I create something poetic reflecting on the notion on, on landscape? That's one aspect. The second aspect is how can I reflect on the history of these migrants and the history of this river? And the third aspect is the gentrification. For me, the form of a project never precedes a project. It really, after doing research, after investigating or on trying to understand what I want from the project and what it can bring me, um, that the project finds its uh, shape. Thank you.